So, um, my Aunt Jill called me yesterday and uh, she said she saw a truck for sale. So later on, my mom and I are going to go look at it. It may be something, it may not. You know, she just said she saw it from the road. So, uh, um, you know, I'm kind of excited about that. I don't really know what to expect, you know. So, I guess I'm just kind of excited to know what it is, you know. Um, it may not be anything, you know. I'm just kind of curious. So we're going to go check it out later on. I'll try to take some, take a video or two of it when we're there. So it's the International with a Chevy bed on it. Oh, cool! Seventy-four. Yeah, that's I'm not real worried about the bed. The bed's pretty rough, but I'm not worried about it. Yeah. Oh, it's got a lot of bondo on the. Yeah. It's got toolboxes on it. Mm -hmm. They're not in bad shape. Uh-uh. It's so low. I know. That side's okay. I can't get under this side. I can't get under this side. Man, it's so low. It is low. And the mice have been in it. Yeah, it definitely smells like our S10. <laughs> Of course he didn't. Oh, no, because I wanted to get home. I said, well, don't you think you should stop and look at it? <laughs> so maybe he'll stop today. It, cl it shuts nice. Yeah. The glove compartment won't open. <laughs> it's pretty rough. <laughs> like the, all the red mm -hmm. pinstriping around it. Yeah. Oh, it's under there. Okay, lift up. See if you can get it. Yeah. I don't know if it's going to stay or not. <laughs> that old horn. <laughs> That's what I was looking at. <laughs> that horn looks like it come out of one of these cars over here.
Well, we could always put a new engine in it because okay. we wouldn't we wouldn't want to work on an international anyway. No. I've been I that's why I quit looking at internationals because the engines are so hard to work on. Nice heavy hood on it though. They're here. I'm gonna look at these two. The seat is actually in really good exactly. shape. Yeah. Uh, 42 Chevy. Hey, hey, mom! Want to see something cool on these? You gotta put this down yeah. before you can open the trunk. Yeah, none of these things are beyond repair, but holy cow, they take a lot of work. Have yeah, to, right. Have to be somebody that knows knew knows. what they were doing. Yeah. And yeah, this car's in good shape. The mice. Yeah, the mice have gotten to it, but I mean, let's stick your head in here. The headliner's good in it, and the the door panels are real good in it. Wow, that's actually really surprising. Yeah, I like the seat. The seat's pretty. Yeah, they do. Yeah, I can't get over the headliner in these is so good. Wow. That's how they used to keep track of oil changes. Yeah. Pussy willows underneath the seat. Foxtails. Oh yeah, fox. Yeah, foxtails. Yeah. Fox yeah. <laughs> it shuts really nice. Yeah, I can't believe how sound it sounds when you close the door. This one cracks me up with all the. It looks like it's trying to grow a beard. Yeah, I'd say it's been in a flood. Yeah. Forty two Chevy. Oh, this one's this one's rough. Yeah. Comes did you see where the seat's sitting at? The seat's pretty much sitting on the frame. Holy cow. The, yeah, yeah, this one's been in a flood, you know, like right. or back in the back of somebody's property that's been low, you yeah. know, and so like sat in water. Sat in water. Cause there's like water lines on the um, floor mats. So I might be able to do something with the body. Yeah, the right body, there. the dash, and then the parts in there. The rest. The of rest it. of it's <laughs> pretty rough. I love these types of doors that the fender is like part of the door uh -huh. just because it looks cool when you open yeah. it up. It may not close. It may not close right, yeah. <laughs> <It may not laughs> <close. laughs> like the the uh -huh. racing flags on this. Yeah. Fleet line. Something may come jump out at me on this one. That's the tires like I want on my vehicle. Kind of knobby tires like, you know, on the sides. Uh -huh. How they're knobby like that. Those are what they call snow tires, I believe. 
And they used to have to change them back and forth. Right, yeah. It's got this spare tire in there. There's a, the fenders actually. It yeah, the, like it's just surface rust. Yeah. This one's got a little bit down here, but um, yeah, because these holes here are where the trim goes on. There. Right. There's a plant growing out of the out tire. Of the tire. Oh wow. Yeah, this one needs more work than the any of the other ones. Squirrels have been busy in there too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> so after that, we went and uh, we happened to be going down the road and we saw another uh, truck for sale, big Ford. Now, obviously, when, when you see this, you'll realize no, we can't uh, afford that for a daily driver, but. Um, it's a pretty cool truck, so we went we went ahead and stopped and looked at it. Now the um, International that we looked at was, uh, you'll just have to bear with me with the, the glare from the tablet on my glasses, but um, that International that we looked at was, uh, the International itself was in good shape. The frame wasn't too rusty on it, and the, uh, um, uh, rocker panels and the um, bottoms of the doors were okay. Um, it was a little, the fenders were a little rusty, but they weren't bad. The Chevy bed on the back was rough, but that's not really a big deal since that's not even the right bed for that truck. Um, it was a little low for my liking. You know, the truck had obviously been lowered. Um, International didn't make those trucks that low, but um, you know it'd be a project truck if we got it. But um, we could probably get it for about a thousand bucks. So you know we that way we have a good bunch of money to um, you know put into it. You know I wouldn't put a whole bunch of money into it, but enough to get it going and probably have to put a new seat in it because the um, the interior of that truck just absolutely reeked of uh, mouse pee and um, uh, you know that's not really something you can quite get out um, but I've uh, we, we can figure out something if we do get it um, you know uh, depending on how much money we have left over after I uh, if we end up getting it, depending on how much money we have left over after we get it running, um, it may get lifted a little bit because I don't like it being that low. But uh, Anyway, the next truck we went and looked at was anything but low. I mean, it made our it made Mom's Dodge look, look small. Uh, it was a big, big Ford truck. So I, I just took a short video of it. You know, the doors were locked, so... We couldn't get into it, but uh, so have to uh, keep watching this video for that. That's nice. <laughs> I bet we can't afford this one. Yeah. Yeah, I figured it was locked. Yeah. 
Thank I you. I can't get up there. It's got a bed liner in it. Yeah. Yeah. Red and white. That should look great with a big IU thing on it. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a price anywhere on any yeah. of those signs? There's a sign. The phone number. Yeah. And after we went, uh, left that Ford, we saw <laughs> it must have just been the day to go look at trucks. Because after that, we went and looked at the uh, um, at, uh, old Ran Ford Ranger, the first year for a Ranger, and um, it had the little Ford Pinto motor in it. So, you know, li like the guy said, you couldn't pull a string out of a cat's bottom with it. But um, it's uh, it was in real good shape, that, that Ranger was. Um, you know, it hadn't been redone. It was original. It just was in really, really good shape. Um, you know, and I'm not really looking for a Ford or a, you know, mini pickup like a Ranger or an S10, but I'd seen the truck, um, remember a, a while back when I went to Chicago? Well, on the way there, we happened to pass that truck. Uh, obviously, um, it was just right after we left home, but I happened to see it, and so I, uh, I thought, well, we're heading up, you know, this way, coming back from looking at the uh, International. So I thought, well, we'll stop in there and look at it. And, you know, it was going to just be, you know, I'm going to get out, take some pictures of it, um, walk around it and go. And then the the guy happened to come out of the garage and um, started talking to us about it. And he was real nice, you know, real honest about, you know, the truck, what needed done with it. And, um, I was just shocked at how good a shape that truck was in. I mean, it, it was in really good shape. Had a few cracks in the dash, but, uh, I mean, for as old as it was, it was in incredible shape. And, um, uh, I liked it, but it's, that's not really what I'm looking for. You know, I'd rather have that international. I'm not all that interested in a mini pickup, you know, but this Ranger's in pretty good shape. Hi. It's nice. Three thousand original miles on it. Wow! Wow! Uh, it's sitting in that barn for about seven years. I've had it about maybe twelve years, and uh, I had to car. We had a guy rebuild the carburetor for me, and we it's running a little rich, and I, I don't I, I can't get it to tune in right. Yeah. It, it's it runs it runs good, but it run, it run rich. Mm. Yeah, but. Uh, yeah, um, they they only put this motor in the eighty threes. Eighty threes the first year they made made the Ranger. Okay. And um, they only put it in here, uh, I think one or two years, because you you couldn't. There's no power to it. Mm. They, they used to put them in the old Pinos. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> the old Ford Pinos. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then they went to the two point three right after that. Continue from there. The two meter, they kind of like disregarded. But, uh, they don't have any power. You don't plan on pulling anything with it because they won't pull a string yeah. out of a cat's behind.
Yeah. It's coming out of, it's coming out of crankcase. And uh, I don't know if I was going to keep it. I planned on restoring it because it's in such good shape. Yeah, it is, and it's in real good shape. Yeah, uh, you won't find it. It, it, it. It's the first year they made the range. Yeah. And uh, I'd take that head off there and maybe lap them valves, take a look at the valves, or have somebody that's got. It's hard to find a mechanic anymore in that part. Yeah, you're right. They don't know. They don't have a steel injector. Right. But uh, you can take it down the road if you want. Yeah, let's talk to Dad. I got the timing set right. It's got the emission system in it, the EVAP system they put in them, and they did it hastily. There was a pump up here, and they were running the... They had to, they had to come up with uh, a way to run the exhaust back in through the motor because the government wanted to do. Right. It's in the, it's in the bed. Okay. We just took it off of it. Because it blew them up for us. It had problems. Okay. It was it was hastily put on by Ford, and that's why they went to fuel injection and all that. Yeah, right. But it, it, uh, we got that carburetor. I could have heard a mechanic over here in Middle Fork, and there's a guy over in Forest. He's gone, the guy in Forest. This guy over here, he messed with it. He got it pretty close, better than I could. But, uh, it's something with that carburetor or the valve. Okay. It's, uh, it's one of these. I'm up front with everybody on it. It's set for seven years, or six, seven years in there. It's got good fuel in it. I made sure of that. But, uh, I don't know. I don't think it's something major. Yeah, right. But yeah, it seemed like it started right up pretty oh, good. Oh, yeah. It'll start. It'll start. You'll get to go down the road, and it'll spit and sputter a little bit. Because it's it's, it's, oh, it's running yeah, rich. right. And the choke's working good. It's on the idle right now. Uh, they said they wanted it around six, uh, about eight hundred. I mean, uh, about two thousand RPM on the top notch. But I got it. In, I got it. It's, this is the second notch. That's about eight hundred RPM. Okay. I don't know. Mechanically inclined, you know. I had yeah. one fella come in here, he wanted something for his daughter, and I said, Look. <laughs> you know, because it's an 83. Yeah. You know, it's got some years. A lot of guys are going to rip that motor out. And they'll yeah. put either a 2, three, two liter in it, I mean, a 2.3 in it, or they're going to put a V6 in it, or a V8, you know. But if you see that choke's working. Yeah. If I kick, I'll kick it off and it'll, it'll idle down. Yeah. Minnesota to get it, but it was originally purchased in North Dakota, and I think it was his father or grandfather or something. He passed away, and it went into an estate, and he got it, and he didn't want it, and I went, and I went to Minnesota to get it. It's got a block heater in it mm -hmm. because up there, up north of Minnesota and North Dakota, it's so cold they put block heaters in it. Right. And that block heater does work, but uh, as you can see, as you see, it runs rich. Yeah. Vacuum. We did a vacuum line test on it, and I, I've gone to. I've gone enough far far with it. I mean, I'm just yeah. saying, you know what? I'm not gonna listen no more. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, we have one vehicle like that at home right yeah, now. Yeah, we've so. got one like now, that. If somebody wants to take it on. I mean, it's 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 sound. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say the body and looks you great. Want, uh, that surface rust up there. You got some free rust right here on this one, but uh, it's it's all original. Oh wow! And it was uh, tells you a little bit. Yeah. They, they were pushing EPA back then. It's bare bones. It's power. No, no power steering. And 
and it's you might want to, if you did sit good, you wouldn't get granny knob on there. <laughs> See, it's uh, it's hard, it's hard to turn. But uh, he didn't put anything on it. There's no headline or nothing on it. It's got some cracks in the. But, uh, it was just a truck. Just a truck, yeah. <laughs> just it's a just truck. a truck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just a truck, yeah. But it's a it's a great shell to work with if you're looking yeah. to restore one or something like that. That's what I was looking to do with it. Yeah. Nice. I can't do it. Said he wanted it, and I put it away for a couple of days. He even told me to put it away and take it for sale sign. He never came back, and I've had. Been getting some nibbles here lately. There's one guy over here in Giddingsville. He's gonna have to bring his son over and have him look at it. And I said, you know. Hey. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll talk to. We'll talk to his dad and. Yeah. Sure. Solid. You can crawl underneath it. It's solid. Fuel, fuel, fuel gauge doesn't work. Okay. And I don't know if there's a, something to do with the fuel pump. It's in the tank. Yeah. Or no, the sensor. The sensor's in the tank. The sensor's in the tank, yeah. But the fuel pump's up here. But, uh, right. Yeah. Should I have that problem with my truck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hey, as long as we're I, I had the bumpers have powder coated. Oh, right. rear, but that was years ago. It's like I said, she's sick. Okay. Well, thanks. For All right. Yeah, yeah thank you. Happen. Yeah. Now, you know, I'm all about trying to keep stuff, you know, original and it, everything being correct on it. But the uh, International, which I was going to tell you about um, before, but I'll just tell you about it now. It didn't, um, but anyway. The uh, International was, um, you know, like I said, it had some issues with it, but it, it's it's a good deal, especially for an International. You don't see too many uh, International pickups. And I've got a grill for one out in the uh, main room over there. Um, but anyway, the uh, um I, I mentioned, you know, you could stick a different engine in it, and the reason I said that was, uh, you know, even though I like to keep stuff original, I considered, you know, getting an international, and I started looking, you know, I'd done all the research on, you know, are they reliable, are they, you know, do they run pretty good, you know, all this and that, and they're a pretty good truck, but you know, there's not a whole lot of them around, so they're not, you know, it, it's not like a Chevy or a Ford that everybody remanufactures parts for. So, um, they're real expensive to work on. Surprisingly enough, you, uh, Studebaker's cheaper to work on than a, uh, International, so, and I'd, I'd rather have a Studebaker anyway, but I, I'm so sick of searching for one. I mean, I found plenty of them for sale. But, um, you know, a 2R5 or a 2R15, I'd rather have a 2R15 if I was going to Studebaker, but, um, I'd take a 2R5 any day. Um, you know, they're just, they're either expensive or they're rusted out so bad that, you know, they need a lot of work or, you know, there's, there's always something with, with it that, you know, there's something wrong with. Or they're out in California, so we're not going all the way to California for a pickup, obviously. So, um, with the International, they're, you know, they're just expensive to work on. So, rather than, you know, now if it, the truck starts good, that's great. But you could tell them they hadn't messed with it. They pulled all three of those cars out of the back of that property, behind the grain elevator, I'm sure. And, um... That that one car on the far end, the the third car that I looked at, um, the floor in it was bad, and then you could see all the um, corn stalks and 
such that had you know was on top of the bumper and all that it, it had sat in water for a while the other two cars the first uh sedan that i looked at and then the uh, international they hadn't sat in the water they weren't rusted beyond repair the third one was pretty rough you know it had some good parts on it but it was probably going to be a parts car for whoever buys it but um uh, anyway, the floor in the International was good. Cab corners were gone, but I don't care about that. As long as the floor is good and, you know, the doors aren't going to fall off. That's all I really care about. <laughs> and um, it seemed like a solid truck, so I may take Dad over to look at that at some point. We'll go from there with, you know. I'm also, I'm looking at a Studebaker that's on the Internet right now, so... I uh, I don't know, you know, what's going to happen, obviously, but um, I'm looking at an International and a Studebaker right now, so who knows what's going to happen. But when when my Aunt Jill called, my great, I guess she's my great Aunt Jill, but I just always call her Aunt Jill, but anyway, when she called me, I, you know, she said she didn't get a good look at it, you know, she just said, you know, she saw an old truck for sale, and we knew right where she was talking about, so, you know, it's like mm, 25 minutes from our house, so we just went over and uh, looked at the truck, and, uh, you know, I was expecting, you know, it's going to be something pretty regular, you know, like a Chevy or a Ford or something, then we pulled up there, and I was like, oh, man, that's an international, so I hopped out of the truck and went and looked at it, and it was international with a Chevy bed on it, so I was halfway right. It was halfway a Chevy. <laughs> Had all the right hubcaps on it, though, for international, so. Who knows what's going to happen? I mentioned having a grill for international. Mine's a little different than the grill that was in that one. Um... I'll pick that up. But this is the... Let me try not to run this into something. This is the grill for this is the grill that I've got, and um, it'll fit in that truck. And I knocked down that, knocked down a gear I had hanging on the wall. So, <laughs> but like, comment, subscribe. Have a good day, and I'll keep you posted on what's going on.